experiences. Sharing experiences is critical because it's not enough to share, but we expect to see action on various health uh, issues, whether it is health, whether it is energy, and many other issues. And, it doesn't and they are going to be here for the next 10, uh, up to 25th. Basically, we are talking about the next 10 days. And these 10 days, I can assure they will be full of activities. Yes? Are we together? And as I conclude, we cannot achieve this without the support of the government and our partners, of course. Yes? So basically, that is my brief. Thank you very much. Thank you. Now, on behalf of the government of Kenya, I'm very happy to be here. To welcome the 36 countries, 1,000 young people who are part of the scouting movement. The first ever rover moved to the most of African soil. So, first of all, just to congratulate the Kenyan scouting movement for bringing the rover moved to Africa for the first time ever and uh, to have it held here in Kenya. It's a great honor to the country, it's a great honor to the, to the continent. We want to say to all the scouting movement representatives from across the world, Karibuni, Kenya, the land of Hakuna Matata, and we, we, we are confident that our guests are going to have a fantastic time for the next 10 days. As you know, uh, His Excellency the President is uh, the patron of the, of the scouting movement in the country. And the President is very happy that this is happening here. Uh, these aligned very well with the vision of government, it aligns very well with our bottom up economic transformation agenda, which is about building the capacity of young, our young people, building the character of our young people. Because we know when you talk about the scouting movement, you, you're talking about building character, you're talking about uh, preparing young people for leadership roles, to be responsible citizens. And so we are very happy as a ministry uh, of youth affairs, the arts and sports, we have made the strategic position to support the scouting movement as part of our broader effort to develop young people, to give young people space, to give young people leadership roles at the earliest opportunity possible, and also to develop their talents. I mean, you have seen amazing manifestation of skill by the Starehe band, for instance. They do it as well as, uh, as the police, or as, as the KDF, or our prisons band. You have seen um, a young people from our school and our call system, the ability to march, and you can see these are ready to join the district forces. They are ready to take positions of uh, responsibility. And so I'm here to um, confirm the full support by government for the scouting movement in Kenya and globally. As you know also that uh, the founder of this movement, uh, Lord Baden Powell, has a very, very close Kenya. Um, he lived in Kenya. His remains are in Tad, in Nyeri. We have every intention to transform the, the site of the internment of Baden Powell into a heritage site so that the whole scouting world can see Nyeri and can continue to remember Nyeri as the, the fulcrum of the scouting movement. Thank you, sir.